Hello, BookTube. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred. So this is going to be an ebook haul. Over the course of uh, Black Friday in November, I took part in a number of uh, acquisitions. Basically, Kobo, the ebook store where I buy my ebooks for my Kobo reading device, was having a great sale, so I figured, why not? And uh, yeah, so this is going to be the ebooks that I purchased during my Black Friday spending spree, which really wasn't that much because ebooks, not like paperbacks or hardbacks, are like 80% off in some cases. So I think I spent maybe under $20 for all these books. So let's go through all of them. The first book I purchased was 1984 from uh, George Orwell. And this is going to be part of my uh, George Orwell classic series. So I will be reading this one. And uh, 1984 is a dystopian, is a story set in a dystopian future where everyone is under surveillance. And from what I remember, because I had to read this in high school, I remember it being incredibly depressing and I didn't understand why we were being made to read this. So now that I'm older, a little smarter, a little wiser, I'm hoping that uh, I will understand the novel better and uh, maybe even like it. The next book I picked up is another George Orwell novel. And this one is Animal Farm. And this I also had to read in high school. And I also didn't understand why we had to read it because it was so depressing. But uh, this one is about a bunch of animals uh, taking over a farm. And uh, the free and open society that they promoted turns into a communist state, a Stalinist state, where the poor horse dies and apparently nobody likes the donkey or the pigs. So I'm looking for it because... It's been a while since I've read it. Uh, all I remember is that the horse passes away and I felt incredibly sorry for the horse. But uh, I'm looking forward to reading this again uh, as an adult and uh, seeing if I can enjoy it more now than when I did when I had to read it as a teenager. The next book that I purchased is actually a collection of works and this is The Complete Works of H.P. Lovecraft. And this was great. I think this was like $1.99, and it's got all of his works. And I did read The Call of Cthulhu uh, from this already, and I enjoyed that one. I think I gave that a 7 out of 10. It was a good uh, work. That one in particular was broken up into three separate stories, but all of those stories tied into the main narrative, and I like how H.P. Lovecraft did that. I may put up a video on... Uh, a review of The Call of Cthulhu. I haven't decided yet, but uh, stick around for that if I do. What else did I pick up? Oh, oh, this one's good. So I was watching a video from the Bookish Bryants. I can't remember the video. I think it was a New World's November video. And they mentioned a very funny story that um, was written by another booktube, and his name was Gareth Howells. And it sounded like another Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy meets Monty Python kind of mashup. And I thought to myself, I'm going to pick this up. So I picked up uh, The Ten Tales of Transformation by Gareth Howell. And I'll put a picture. I'm, I'm putting pictures of all those up here for you so that you can see them. Uh, this one I had to get on Amazon because it's not available on the Kobo website. So I am looking forward to reading uh, a number of stories from this uh, collection of sh short stories. Yeah, it'll be fun. So another book that I picked up, and this one was 99 cents, so I, I couldn't say no to that. And it has a bit of a garbogous title, and it is called The Haunted House from Hell by Mark Lestrange. Appropriate last name, isn't it? Lestrange, Haunted House. But uh, yeah, the synopsis sounded really good. It was basically a family moves into a house which is reported to be haunted and they've got to suffer through the consequences of that haunting. And for 99 cents, you know, it the synopsis was good enough that I wasn't going to say no. The next book I picked up was 80% off. So I got this for 2.99. Uh this, this is all Canadian in Canadian dollars. And it was regular priced $14 I believe, so it was about 80% off. And it is Metropolis by Barbara A. Shapiro. And this novel focuses on the lives of six uh, distinct individuals uh, who sh have uh, storage lockers in a storage uh, building. And, one per and someone at that building dies. 
So uh, they're investigating the death and that death has impacted uh, all six individuals who don't know each other. They all have separate lives. So we're going to delve into each of these separate lives and um, get a chance to get the viewpoint from their perspective. Uh, another book. So this book reminded me of Fishbowl by Bradley Summer. And I had read Fishbowl a very long time ago, but I really enjoyed that. It was also about different people with different things happening in their lives. And you get a little glimpse in uh, from each of them, uh, all told through the perspective of the fish that's falling towards its inevitable death uh, because it was accidentally pushed out of a uh, top floor apartment building. So Metropolis by B.A. Shapiro. I'm looking forward to reading that in the new year. The other books that I picked up was Jules Verne, The Collection. And again, you know, for $1.99, I, th I think this one was $1.99 as well. Uh, I wasn't going to say no. I've not read anything from Jules Verne. I've watched Journey to the Center of the Earth, uh, the one from the 1950s, 1960s. But uh, I've not read any of his novels. And Jules Verne was a French fantasy writer uh, in the 1800s. And he wrote, what was it? Journey to the Center of the Earth, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, uh, Around the World in 80 Days, I believe it was. Uh, so, and all of these works, you know, you hear so much about them, but I've never actually read any of them. So one of the other things that I will be doing in the new year is reading classics from Jules Verne. So I'm looking forward to reading those as well. What else did I pick up? Oh, I picked up The Lost World by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And I believe this one was also 99 cents. And I remember back in the 90s, they had a television show called The Lost World. And it was cheesy. It was... It was, nah, it wasn't the best, but you know what? I was still a kid back, well, I was a teenager back then, but uh, on the older side of being a teenager, <laughs> but I loved that show and I wanted to watch it or like I would watch it every week when it was on, I think it was on Saturdays or something. And uh, I've always been enthralled by uh, a book on dinosaurs in a lost world. So I'm happy that I picked up the actual novel by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, and I'm looking forward to reading this one. I'm going to try to read it before the end of the year. The other books that I picked up were, oh, the selective works of H.D. Wells. Oh, yeah. See, I picked up so many in uh, November that I've got to write them all down because I'll forget. So this one I picked up specifically for War of the Worlds. Um, I saw the 1960s movie, I believe it was. I remember that one. That one was really good. I saw the one with Tom Cruise. That one was okay. But the same thing with um, with uh, Jules Verne. I've seen the movies, but I've not actually read the novel. So I'm looking forward to reading the novel War of the Worlds. And uh, yeah, so that'll be interesting. So the last book I picked up was Polymath, Master Multiple Disciplines by Peter Hollins. And again... Black Friday sales. This one I got with a coupon. So instead of paying $7 for this book, I only paid $2.30. And yeah, it's a self-help book. I'm not going to deny that. It's it's a way to improve uh, your study skills. I'm about 30 to 50 pages into the book. From my expression, you could probably tell that I'm not enjoying it. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to finish it uh, during my Christmas break. But uh, the premise of the book is just to develop skills to, to master multiple disciplines. Uh, the book talks about not being an expert in all disciplines. You can't. You can't be an expert in a lot of disciplines. Right now, there's so many. They're, such, they're so complex. I mean, it would take years to be a master, uh, to master genetics or master... Uh, biochemistry or, you know, to learn multiple languages. I mean, to be an expert in all of those would take forever. But the book itself says, you know what, don't worry about that. Just start and keep, be consistent. So that's the gist that I'm getting from the book right now. Um, the more that I read it, the more that uh, I'll, the better able I'll be able to assess what the author is talking about. But the gist of it is that, and, uh, you know, I can speak three languages right now, but I'm really rusty in two of them. I really need to practice. Uh, obviously, English is my first language. 
or I hope people think that English is my first language. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I need to get better at uh, French and Italian, and I would like to learn Spanish and, uh, you know, maybe more of the European languages, maybe German. Uh, that would be a tough one. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. And uh, those are the books that I picked up for my Black Friday sales. What did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I picked up nine ebooks during my Black Friday sales and I spent under $10. I don't think I spent more than $20 on all of these. So that was a really good deal. That's the great thing about ebooks. They're always like 80% off or they're always at really great prices. So why wouldn't I? choose the ebook over over the physical copy especially now that i'm getting older i can increase the font size on the e-reading device so that i don't have to squint anyways did you take part in any uh black friday sales back in november did you purchase any books recently if so let me know what you bought down below and what you look forward to reading during uh the christmas holidays and uh in the new year anyways thank you so much for watching this video this is fred and you're watching Red by Fred.